Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Tracy and this video is meant to be a get to know me video. I am making this video for a number of reasons. One is for people who want to get to know me better. As much as I love short form content videos that are a minute 30 or a minute or less, I wanted to give a more human touch if that makes sense. I want you to be more comfortable around the person that you're watching. I am a person in front of the camera and there are things that I like and things that I don't like. I mostly make food content but I might branch out into other things in the future depending on what happens next. <laughs> Reason number three, I want to be able to look back at this video and see how much I will evolve over time as I get more serious into social media and content creation. Reason number four and the last reason, if I somehow lose my memories, then I will have something to look back on. <laughs> but that's just worst case scenario. I hope I don't lose my memories. I didn't want to bore you with just one background with my squishmallows behind me. So we'll actually be going around Lake Tahoe. We're going to appreciate nature. I want to show you the views, my favorite spots maybe. We'll see what happens. Before we go to Lake Tahoe, I want to say that the best way to support me and your other favorite content creators is through interacting with their content across different platforms especially if you watch through the end of the video. If you do that, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and let's go to Lake Tahoe! So there'll be about three parts to this video. Part one will be about my upbringing, facts about me and my beliefs. Part two will be about mental health and part three will be about my goals for myself or the platform or this channel. So stay tuned for that. Welcome to Lake Tahoe. I'm currently in Sand Harbor. This is probably considered the best beach in Lake Tahoe because it's very clear and it's very peaceful. Look at how clear the water is. It's pretty calm right now. It's the end of the summer. This squirrel is just going at it. Oh my. I like how that dude is just floating right there. You could pan over. <laughs> So let's start with part one. Um, I was born on December 13. I was born in the Philippines, but now I live in the U.S. with my family. I have two dogs, two dachshunds named Daisy and Duke. Here are some useless facts about me. I have 12 moles on my face. I'm right-handed. I have the same birthday as Taylor Swift. Um, I'm 5'8", if anybody wants to know that. <laughs> Moving on to beliefs and superstitions, I am a non-practicing Catholic. I rarely go to church, but I do believe in a higher being, a creator, or God, or Allah, or Yahweh. I pick up lucky pennies on the floor. If you don't know what that means, you can Google, <laughs> you can Google that. One other quirk or one other habit that I do is I have my house clothes and then I have my going out clothes and I will never use my going out clothes to sit on my bed. Does anyone else do that? Please tell me I'm not weird. If I am, then I guess you're stuck with a weirdo. And that's it for part one of this video. Moving on to part two. But in order to get to part two, we are switching sides, as in from the Nevada side to the California side of Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is split between two states, between California and Nevada. Welcome to Kings Beach. Welcome to part two of the video where I talk about my mental health experience into adulthood, my experience here in the US. So I moved here just before I turned 18 and it was an interesting time because I was about to meet a stepdad that I haven't met in real life, although I've talked to him before over video call. You know, it's always different when you meet someone for the first time in real life. And so, you know, there was good days and bad days and it took a while for us to get comfortable with each other. 
My relationship with my stepdad is better now. My relationship with my biological dad is better now as well. I want to talk about the culture here in the US and specifically the Bay Area. It's very fast paced and I wasn't used to it at first. Life in the Philippines was more laid back compared to the life here. As with any other immigrant experience, I guess, there's always some difficulty. Everybody is bound to struggle at some point and you know, even, even until now, like I still have my own struggles and I'm sure you have too. What really helped me out was getting out of the house, doing things, talking to friends. I think that really helped out a lot. It didn't help that what I initially thought were good friends wasn't really good for me eventually. I, I had to learn that the hard way. I was lonely at times and that loneliness turned into isolation. That turned into suicidal ideation. There were nights where it was difficult to sleep. It would be like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and I would be um, laying down, looking at the ceiling, and I would be so deep in thought that the ceiling would start spinning. I unfortunately couldn't get mental help because my parents didn't believe in it. When I felt like I needed it, my one of my parents just looked at me and said, what if it doesn't work? Since then, I've just been... I just had to carry it on my own. Now, I know it's taboo to talk about your mental health, or at least in my culture, it's taboo to talk about it. I continued on with my adulthood here, and it's a real struggle for a lot of people. I was definitely lost for a while, but I fortunately came across a good group of people and today I'm still with them. I think we'll be friends for a very long time and I'm really grateful for them. And if you're watching this, thank you so much. Now to close out this part of the video, I want to say one thing that I read somewhere online and that quote is, I hope you heal from the things that you don't talk about. Now we're on to the third and final part of our video and that concerns the goals that I have for myself and the goals for the channel. And we're at Incline Village. Enjoying the sunset. Welcome to part three of the video where I talk about my goals. I definitely want to grow in all platforms and I know that will only happen if I make an effort to do it. And that means posting content, posting content that you like and you can help me out by commenting on what works out and what doesn't work out. Another goal that I have is um, branching out to different cuisines. I'm really passionate about food and I think it's one of the ways to experience other people's cultures without having to travel to their country. Before I end this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends, your neighbors, your mom um, for more food adventures with Tracy and eventually more. I want to give a big shout out to all my early supporters. I see you and I appreciate you a lot. All the compliments I get from people I haven't seen in a while and they tell me that they enjoy my content, it really warms my heart and that's what's keeping me going and that's what's motivating me to be more serious about content creating.